As a musician, flow is the ultimate place to be when you're trying to be creative. It's the feeling of really getting lost in the music and getting outside of your head, getting outside of yourself when you can really make magical moments. I've always said that on the best nights, it feels like flying. Everything is effortless. You're completely engaged. You're lost in the moment. It's almost like you can't play a wrong note. But flow is also elusive. It's, you never quite know when it's gonna come. You can't conjure it. And most of the time when you're in it, you don't know that you're in it. So it's a catch-22. You hear athletes talk about being in the zone or on a great game, they're playing out of their minds. And that's something that I very much relate to on a musical level. There's times where songs feel like they're almost writing themselves. As fast as I can get pen to paper, lyrics are coming to me. On two occasions, I've literally felt like I was flying on stage. So today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about flow as it relates to my life in two areas, my songwriting process and live music performance. I always say that writing songs is like trying to capture lightning in a bottle. You never know what you're gonna get. Every day is different. I have written a song in five minutes. I have many songs that have taken five years to finish. So it's a very elusive process, but I feel like sometimes music and songs are almost pre-existing in a current of creativity or flow of energy, and you just need to be able to tap into that for it to present itself. Um, so I'm gonna play some songs for you tonight and talk a little bit about them and the process. Um, this first song is sort of a typical song for me. Uh, I was uh, on my back porch writing this and probably had about 80% of it finished. Had the chords and the music and I could not finish it. I could not get the lyrics. And something that has become a common theme in my process is movement as being helpful. And movement and flow obviously have some relationships. So bike ride, going for a walk, jumping in the ocean, all of these things are helpful for getting things off my mind, not focusing so much on the project, and nine times out of 10, that movement will open things up and things will present themselves to me when they wouldn't while I was beating my head against the wall trying to finish this song. So this first song, um, I went for a walk, and on the course of this walk, I wrote, all of the lyrics. You hear uh, reference of roses in the garden just dying to bloom. Those are real roses that I saw on this walk. The first verse, unknowingly I was writing about flow. Um, the first lyric is, there's a song in the distance just waiting to be sung. There's music in the balcony, it's there for everyone. And that's sort of this idea of this creative energy um, available for anyone to tap into if you're up for it. Um, the next line is, if you listen for the secret, it all comes undone. And that's the idea of if you hold on too tight to something or focus too hard and you don't have the ability to let go of everything and let things present themselves to you, um, you're gonna squash it and maybe the song doesn't show up. So this is, um, an apt song to start a show with, I think. This is called Starting Gun. There's a song in the distance Just waiting to be sung there's music in the balcony, it's there for everyone. If you listen for the secret, it all comes undone. Who will run? Who will run? There's a rose in this garden, just dying to bloom. A willow that is weeping, they're both howling at the moon. 
with a little bit of water, a little bit of sun. Who will run? Who will run at the sound of a starting gun? Whoa, whoa. There's a girl in this town, she cries every night About the one that got away, the one that wasn't right If she'd open up her window, we'd have a little fun Who will run? Who will run at the sound of a starting gun? Whoa, 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 whoa. The sound of a starting gun We've been fighting for honor We've been fighting for pride Fighting all the demons that are building up inside The cards were stacked against us But we've already won And who will run? Who will run at the sound of a starting gun? Whoa, whoa. of a starting gun Thank you. So that was one that um, took a little bit of walking to get finished. Um, sometimes songs can fall in your lap. The best day of the week for me is a, is a day that I write a song, and when the ones just deliver themselves before lunch, that is a beautiful thing. Subjects are also wide-ranging. Um, I hope everyone in this room has been in love, and that feeling of being completely lost in someone else's eyes or being completely lost in another person to me is, is a total flow moment. And um, this song is about finding your one and only true love and um, this is called One and Only. Some days you wanna give up some days you just want to leave Some days you just want to pack it up Move out to the country Some days you're just getting by Some days you hang by a string Some days you wonder if it's worth it all This pain and misery That's when you find only the only one you'll ever need that's when you'll find your one and only the kind of love you never leave yeah.
Someday you're gonna be mine Someday it's gonna be we Someday we'll find a place to call our own Gonna raise a little family Some days we'll get kicked around Some days we'll blow in the breeze I'll be your one and only standing tall You know you can't rely on me That's when you find your one and only The only one you ever need That's when you find your one and only The kind of love you never leave I'll be your one, I'll be your one and one and only I'll be your one, I'll be your one, your one and only That's when you find your one and only The only one you ever need That's when you find your one and only The kind of love you never leave I'll be your one, I'll be your one, your one and only I'll be your one Thank you. So I was talking about flying on stage. This actually happened twice. I hope it happens a lot more. Um, I was lucky enough to play Madison Square Garden. I grew up near New York, and that was kind of the holy grail of venues. and. Um, I don't know if it was being kind of close to home, having family in the building, but I remember looking up at the New York Rangers scoreboard and that's when it hit me that I was playing the greatest arena in the world. And I was just very confident and relaxed in one of the scariest environments you could probably drop me into. I just felt I was absolutely in flow for that show, and the entire time I had a ball and felt like I was probably about this high off the stage. And one of the things that I feel most lucky about is that flow is such an elusive thing to find, and it's something that you can get to in music, and the most beautiful thing, I think, is that I'm able generally I'm not up here all by my lonesome. I've got a fantastic band, and I'm able to share this incredibly difficult experience to talk about or get into by yourself, let alone I can share it with my best friends who are like brothers to me on stage. So to share that with a group, and then sometimes on the best nights, the crowd is in on it too, and it's you know, maybe let's call it 20,000 of your closest friends levitating. That's pretty cool, I think. <laughs> One of the um, maybe easier parts of flow for me to find is when I'm not talking or singing. I'm just playing guitar. And it's I'm not going to be able to recreate this tonight. I mean, fingers crossed, I'll go for it, but... I don't know. This is kind of one that gets a little funky and I can jam out too. And um, 
I used to play in a band uh, from New Orleans called the Dirty Dozen Brass Band, and I'm honored to tour with Aaron Neville these days, and <laughs> legends. And New Orleans knows how to party, and if anyone's gonna levitate, it's people in New Orleans. So this is kind of a New Orleans thing. This is called Spirit. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you to Ted. 